Hey, what's up, guys? So we're going to do a story time. We're going to do something new. Let's see if you guys like these. Because i got a lot of stories if you do. Okay, this is the story when I got shot in the eye with a 30-pump BB gun. Right there. Alright, so this is about four years, no, five years ago. This is about five years ago. Uh, my brother and me like BB guns. We like shooting each other with them. It's, you know, it's a blast and all that. So I take my BB gun... I take the butt end of it, the part that goes in your shoulder, I take it, I put it right here so it's black in my face. He has a 30 pump action BB gun. That's the one where you go like that, pump it 30 times and the bolt's just gone. He takes that. I, I put that in front of my face. This is my idea. I, he is not to blame at all. This was my stupid idea. I put it in front of my face. I say, hey Michael, shoot me. He aims 30 pumps. Remember that. That's the max it shoots far, it will shoot through walls. He aims at me, I have the wooden end blocked in my face. I'm thinking, okay, this is a stupid idea. I take it down, Mike, don't shoot. As soon as I say shoot, he shoots. Bam, right there, right in there. 20 seconds later, I wake up, I blacked out. and So I wake up in a puddle of blood about this big. And he's freaking out because he thought he popped my eye. I was in shock. I This is the one time I have ever felt like this. Like how in the movies they always say, oh, pinch me because I'm dreaming, that kind of stuff. This can't be real. That was the one time I've actually ever had that moment. I was saying to myself, this can't be, this, this can't be real, this can't be real. There's no way. Obviously it was. So... I go in the mirror, I look at it, there's blood just slivering down my face. My eye is bloodshot red. I'm freaking out. The pain is starting to come, and I can't see anything out of my left eye. I remember I broke my leg uh, just a year, probably just a year before this happened. And uh, I remember I had some Vicodin. Um, Mom did not give me the Vicodin. I thought I took it before, so I thought I could handle it. So I told my brother, go up there, get the Vicodin. He gets it, he brings it down. I take the Vicodin. I take a ice pack, put it on my eye, take duct tape, wrap it around the ice pack, wrap it around my eye. So it's in my hair. It's It was a bitch to get out. So my mom comes home 30 minutes after this all happens. She's like, what happened to you? Now I'm like, yar! She's like, the hell happened to you? I'm like, oh, I got shot in the eye with Mike's gun. And she's like, freaking out. She's like, we, she went, you know, she's freaking out. And uh, about five months after that, my eye is still bloodshot red. I don't see anything. It's like, what I saw was this. That's what I see. It was just blurry black and really just crap six months later I started seeing this about that much I can see my outsides after that uh, two years later I get to about here yeah about here I get to see all this outside stuff all the way to now let's say if you want to see what I see, see that zombie mask back there if you want to look at it with my left eye you'd be seeing this my eye, my right eye works, so that takes over with the, the the part where that looks at the eye. My left eye still works with the peripherals, but if you want to see a zombie mask, it looks like that with my left eye. It's like I can't see this eye touch at all. That's how it is. So that was the story of when I got shot in the eye with a BB gun. As always, my new gun. Subscribe. Oh yeah. I love that. I might make that my trademark. Let's see. Alright. Click those buttons. Those are actual buttons right here. You know. Click them. That one too. You can actually subscribe just by clicking them. Do that. And comment, like, subscribe. I'm still doing my 1600 Microsoft Points giveaway. That's going to be coming up within two to three weeks. I'm going to Idaho for Christmas. Hopefully Christmas. I may be late. But uh, I'm going up there for Christmas, and I will be gone for a little bit, and then I'll be back. I'll make some more videos. 
and uh, hopefully you guys like that story time. If you liked it, tell me. Definitely tell me because I have a lot of good stories. Alright, bye.